this is what they went to school for. This is what they do for a living. Um, if you're going to spend the money, spend the money wisely. You know, so it's either, what is it, penny wise? Pound foolish. <laughs> you know, exactly. You don't want to be that person that lives in the hindsight or 2020. Just don't want to be that person. That is great. Have you seen, and I'm sure you have, like really terrible situations where people come in, they thought they had things lined up a certain way, but then yes. the reality of the law is, okay, you're this, but this yeah. is, a, according to this, is something else. Oh, of course. Um, contract rules. And very few occasions you can really um, break it for unconscionability and things of that nature. But you never put yourself in a position where you're bounded by something and it's not what you intended. Rather, you spend that time. That's why it's also important to have a good amount of time before you sign the dotted line. So you can sit with it. You can read it. You can go through it and say, you know, this is really what I agreed to as opposed to this is what I thought I agreed to. Hmm. So. But, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. You can't take it lightly at all. You know? Absolutely. And more and more cases have actually been, they're still not in the majority, but we're women having to pay child support. Oh, yes. Yes. It's, you have to understand, and this is what I always find interesting about this time period we live in, is that to some degree, you know, women are, um, it's coming to light that women are not being taken uh, for their full worth. But to some degree, you know, women are the breadwinners in a lot of these homes. So the same rules are applied. The laws, for the most part, are gender neutral. So if you are the one that's making them, you know, the money and you don't have the child, because some, a lot of stay-at-home dads. Yeah. And people don't think about it, but in a divorce, that stay-at-home dad actually has more of a um, right or more of ability, I should say, to seek the ch custody of the child because they've been a primary caregiver so wow. these are interesting and you know situations that people just have to the dynamics of the roles gender roles mm -hmm. are just different and so people have to think about it because it comes in play in these types of situations oh yeah and i'm sure you've seen that but and I, that's why i said i've been hearing more and more about this where the woman has to either pay spousal mm -hmm. support child support because we're always so quick. Oh, I'll put him on child support. You might get be putting on oh, <laughs> child yes. support. Yes, I know personally of a certain s situations in where, the, unfortunately, you know, the other spouse was considered, and the spouse was a husband, was considered more of a caregiver. That is, so. that's, that's just a, a sign of the times. We'll take yes. a quick break. We'll be right back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. So, Priscilla, how do you feel about 2019? We are going into 2019. You have a lot of big projects. Yes. I'm actually very excited because I'm excited because I'm actually stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, the law has been my comfort zone. This has basically been my baby, been everything. But I am going into more motivational speaking. I'm going into um inspiring author. Um, so... It's really stepping out of my comfort and just allowing different facets of my personality to be seen. So mm -hmm. it's going to be an amazing year. I believe so. so. So you would have the healthcare background. Yes. You would have the attorney. And then now life coach, motivational speaker. Those, that's great. And I was reading an article. They said most people now who are under a certain age have or change careers more than once. Yes. Like, and gone are those days where you just work at a company, 40 years, retire, and that's it. And that's, that's exactly what I think my life has been. You don't have to choose and stick to just one. I think a lot of people, you know, when you're in college, you're forced to decide an area you want to focus on, and then you're told that that's the only thing you could do. And in reality, you can do both. Some people are creative, and yet also have other areas of their lives mm -hmm. and you know and so um and this is what i've basically been tapping into for the last few years is that embrace every aspect of you i think that's the true happiness if you are a person who is a designer or musically inclined embrace that aspect 
pay your bills yes <laughs> you know you get the job to pay your bills but also embrace the creative side mm-hmm. and um so i want to always live what i preach so this is the 2019 um it's really what i want to do i want to just go there and just allow everything to be shown and given of course <laughs> and what really gave you that push to decide that you want to actually do the motivational speaking and write a book and just finally work on these projects i speak a lot there's i've been um inspiring uh, young women a lot and um, sometimes we take it for granted sometimes we ask you know what is it that we are good at and we don't realize that the world or you know if you believe in god god i believe shows you mm-hmm. for people that comes to you and ask you questions and you don't realize that you can inspire people so why not actually invest the time and perfect it and do it so those are the things that um really led me just experiences and realizing how my life path has been going that is so cool to actually see them what about the support of your family and what just kind of give us a little insight on that do you be like okay for so totally crazy we've seen this already i think they're used to me jumping without a parachute honestly (laughs) my mother she is she's been there and she knows if i have an idea in my head i have to try it out you know whether it fails whether it's a seed i'm okay with it as long as it actually was taking effect I'm not mm. the person that likes to just think about it or talk about it and never try it. Yeah. I think a lot of times we just don't even take that step, you know? And um, the failure, you can learn a lot from failure. So I never was afraid of that. So it's just jump. Jump and think about it later. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very true. How do people at home get in contact with you? I know they have the show yes. that you could tune into. Give us some insight on that. Yes. So the show is on Up Close with, Up Close with Priscilla Stenville on platform is Facebook. I'm also on Instagram, Up Close with Priscilla Stenville on Instagram. And um, my name, Priscilla Stenville, on Instagram as well. Um, I am easily accessible. I have my office, Stenville Law, on Water Street. Um, and, um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you get in contact with me. And right now, I think you had mentioned before that you have, you're primarily female uh based yes so that's a cool factor yes. if you're looking to support all female yes all law female firm. firm yes i mean and you still keep it at that yes and i have to be honest it wasn't intentional it just happened sometimes it just happened that way but it works well it works well my office the women do work well together of course. <laughs> i think it's kind of interesting it brings a different dynamic um, and I think just letting that factor be known, you will get a lot of support just yes. off of that. You know, in the Wall Street area, that's like non-existent. Yes. And it's true. And in, in reality, I think there's, you know, women have always been seen as if we don't support each other. But that's not the case. I mm-hmm. do find that more women do support each other and we need to start highlighting those, you know, so those areas. Absolutely. And if there's one thing that you want people at home to take away when they think of Priscilla Stenville, what do you want them to, to look at you as? Honestly, I love the idea of just going for it. Going for it, whatever your dreams, no matter the age, no matter where you started or what time you started in life, go for it. So if they could think of me of Lord the person or the, the symbol of a person who goes for it, I'll be happy with that. That is so and you know what I believe it because yes. I've seen that with you like I said I've tuned into a couple episodes and just yeah. hearing the things that you talk about are so really inspiring so yeah. it's funny that you mentioned that you're looking to do you know um, your motivational speaking because you indirectly do that already Thank you. you I really do motivate um, just having you here I was like wow you know there's so many things that you inspire me on little levels and mm-hmm. I love having a strong network of other ladies that you could turn to who are no, professional and doing things. Because you are you got to keep your core tight. Yes. And I'm telling you, iron sharpen iron, so definitely. And you I'm inspired to. too. And look at Thank you. you. You know, you definitely do. And if you, you see other people doing really positive things, yes. it makes you want to stay on your toes, stay on your game. Yes. Because, and it's not in a competitive sense. It's like, you know what? I can do it. Yeah, and there's room for us all. And that's one of the things that I learned even going into my own firm is like there's room at the table for everyone. My lane is different from someone else's lane. And you can support someone else, appreciate someone else, and it doesn't take away the shine from yours. So that is so true. So, of course, you know, definitely we want to support you. Yes. When is the, f- the Facebook show is every Wednesday? 
It was every um, Sunday at 2 o'clock. Okay. However, we are relaunching soon because, again, like I said, we were revamping with mm-hmm. an array of um, voices. So look forward to the relaunch. Please stay on our Facebook page. We will send out the um, notification once we have the set date. So it's going to be more panel style? Yes, it's going to be more panel style. You're going to have totally different voices from mine <laughs> hopefully a little bit um just different air just different voices in that respect so we can really express the audience and allow everyone to relate to someone that is great but you'll still be so to speak the moderator yes okay yes looking forward to that when i get the alert we'll definitely tune in and kind of shut you out that i'm tuned yes. in so we'll We'll definitely get in on that. Well, Fasil, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. It was awesome. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, you can send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. I'm your host, Lydia Patel. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be back again next week. Same time, same place you're watching. Beyond Focus TV, stay with us. Beyond Focus TV show wants and needs your feedback. Did we blunder? Please let us know so we can improve. Was the show helpful to you? Drop us a note so we can share the success with our staff members. Is there something you think we could do better? We welcome new ideas and new approaches to old ideas. Do you have a great suggestion? Let us know and we'll work on it. If you would like to share your comments anonymously, please send us an email at info at beyondfocusmedia.com. If you want to get in touch with the executive producer directly, send him an email at gene at beyondfocusmedia.com. We really look forward to hearing from you.